Hello friends, this is Jagbir Singh. Today we are going to learn how to do sear wall design using IS456 design code. So let's go with a new project and uh, with space I am giving it as name and you your units uh, meter and kilonewton go with next and just finish. Just to make it very quick I will go for uh, my structure wizard, geometry, run structure wizard and I am going with frame model and using base frame uh, let's just do some customization here let's give 8, the height is 9 for 3 meter each 8 again and 3 on all sides this is my structure let's just import it to my strat pro with zero zero coordinates and this is my structure so what i have to do now i have to create a surface so you can either go with this particular one tool here or you can go for geometry and add surface here so i'm going with this one and I'm just creating a surface from this point second third fourth and just to finish just come here same you do here second third fourth and fifth first second third and fourth and fifth so you can see I have created three surfaces here so now what I have to do I have to go for general to define its properties go for thickness so now you do not have to give plate element thickness you have to give surface thickness here so select this one and just for sake I am saying 0.23 meters and just with concrete material add and close so now select this one and go for selecting your surface like this sorry go for surface and assign to selected surface assign now let's create some properties for my rest of the structure so I'm creating a rectangular of point uh, 25 into point 2 meters add close and just assign it to assign to view and simply assign now let's create some support for my structure so I'm going with a fixed one and uh, just select your support and uh, orient your model from Z and assign to selected nodes assign now just go for some load cases I am just creating a dead load and in that dead load I am just creating one cell fit in minus one y direction just select it and assign to view now simply add analysis and print analyze your structure so once your analysis is done so with zero error warning or notes just close and then go for post processing load case one yes and then go for just like say surface and I want to see its maximum up absolute value and then you can see here is your surface with these values here so now we have to design it according to my design code so to do that you have to uh, you have to go to your uh, modeling again and now we have to give its specification about design codes what are its parameters we have to choose so I am going with design and in this design part you have to go here shear wall because you can see uh, you have to define 
what you gonna design so go for shear wall and the moment you hit shear wall you will see there is coming shear wall panels and there are three surfaces Be this is because we have created three surfaces over here now we have to define them by creating a panel over there so uh, below these three surfaces there are three tabs first one is create panel second one delete panel and change property so this is all about to go for your shear wall so select your first surface and then go for create panel here the moment you hit that uh, let's just uh, let me just do it once again the uh, uh, the moment you select uh, surface one and create panel all your surface and your structures will be diminished only one panel will be available to you so now you see it is from zero to three meters that means it is from the bottom so it, now you have to create a panel and your cursor has been changed into a plus mark so you start to create your panel just like now now the moment you hit the last node it will pop up with one uh, tab it is saying select panel type what type of panel is this one either it is a beam it is a column or a wall so this one is representing my wall so I am selecting wall and you have to hit ok here yes and now you see it is uh, turned into a green one so again you go for shear wall and now you see in surface there is plus mark panel one wall so the same way you have to go for rest of the surfaces i'm selecting second one now my second one is uh, coming with some hatch that means this is my active one so go for my create create panel again and now you see it is from three to six that means it is the middle one so i have to create a panel here just like I did for the previous one and then again define its type its wall panel and just say ok and again go for my shear wall so now you the remaining one you have to define that one also so select surface 3 create panel now this one is from 6 to 9 that means it is of top panel so that way you can track which panel you are going to define and just finish this one okay again go for shear wall and now like uh, always we do you have to choose which design code you want to go for uh, there are different different design codes one is ACI B the, the, the second one is British one BS 8110 and the last one is Indian one IS 456 so uh, we use IS 456 for this particular one as in India so select this one and now you have to tell what parameters of this shear wall you want to define so for that you have to go for this particular select wall option the moment you hit there are so many selected parameters for this shear wall but you do not have to define each and every one of them but there are some which you have to define as a must for example the compressive strength of concrete and yield strength of main reinforcement so you have to select them into the right box uh, the right box represents the selected one and then simply hit ok so the moment you hit ok you will see uh, right now you have to go for define parameters because you have to you have selected some parameters then you have to define what is the values of these parameters you are gonna use so for that you have to go for define parameters tab here and you select now you all uh, all the parameters you have selected are listed here fc that means uh, compressive strength of my concrete and fy main range in formant uh, bar sizes so i am saying fc what is the value i am saying 2500 because it is in kilo newtons and just add then you go for FY main I am using 415 grade of steel even in India we use 500 also uh, just add and then close now you see here this FC 2500 is available here and you have to define this is representing whom so you select that one and now you have to go for surface and select your surface and assign to selected surface assign the same way you have to go for your FY main select and
go for assign selected surface and select your surface and assign to selected surface assign now you have to go for commands which command like uh, for uh, steel design uh, there are so many options you can choose like you can go for take off you can go for select design code each and everything but in this you have to simply just add and close go again here and say design sear wall and select your sear wall and assign now simply just go for your analyze and run analysis and it will go for analyzing your struct uh, shear wall now you see there is zero error zero warning and zero note so let's just go for output file what it is saying and just done now go for shear wall now you see design code fc value fy main shear wall list all so it is showing width is 2.67 meters height is this one thickness is this one these are some parameters of my shear wall design so it have already designed my uh, shear wall it is saying left edge area ratio minimum ratio horizontal vertical values and level in meters 0 0.30 0 0.6090 zero, 0, these are corresponding values what is dia 8 at 109.00 dia 8 like what is my rebar size everything has been assigned here so this is my shear wall design so this is jagbir singh today signing off friends if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel if you want to continuously see the entire tutorial series and if you feel that you need uh, part, uh, help in particular topic then kindly uh, drop down that topic in comment section so that i can see that and i can create a video for you and uh, you can rate my uh, video you can give your suggestions how i can make my video more effective and uh, educational to you so this is jagbir singh signing uh, signing off today uh, i would say jai india jai bharat